Falling in love happens naturally for a woman. It is said that women fall in love through their ears, what they hear, while men fall in love through their eyes, what they see. The man just needs to say and do the right things to get a lady interested. The display of affection and gifts are wonderful, but making the decision to settle down has lifelong consequences and should be thoroughly scrutinized. I know you might consider a divorce as a plan B, but hey, have you checked the psychological effects on both parties, especially the children? As a lady, not every man is okay for you. Some can lead you to your early grave or leave you an emotional wreck. Take time to make a long checklist when next you consider dating instead of dating for fun. The heart is not something that should be toyed with, it's fragile. In this video, I'll share with you 9 signs you have found the man you should marry. Number 1. He understands and loves you. So how do you know if he loves you? Love is really quite subjective. Some have said that they feel loved when they have bought a lot of gifts, while others prefer you spending time with them. One way is to determine whether he knows your love language. If he doesn't, this is a red flag. If he cared enough to, he would have spent time with you and tried different things to find out which of them it is. Does he understand you? Does he listen and not really hear you? Does he suddenly feel like using the bathroom every time you bring up a conversation about yourself you would like to share? You need to ensure that he does neither of these things. If he does, it is a red flag. A man who doesn't listen cannot understand you. Listening and understanding go hand in hand. Number 2. He's a visionary and a doer. What are his dreams? Does he have a job? A man without a job should not even be thinking of marriage. He should be thinking of trying to earn a living. Marriage requires lifelong financial commitment. If the man is working, how will he raise your children or contribute money for mortgage? Find out what his long-term goals are, why he is passionate about what he does. If the man does not know yet, it means he is still figuring out himself. Ask him on different occasions and see whether his answers are consistent. Marriage is something very serious. You don't want to entangle yourself with a man without direction. He can change his mind too many times about everything. This can make the family unstable. Number 3. He is generous and accommodating. One of the signs is when he is generous and accommodating of your faults. People have faults. It is just how we all are. You need a man who doesn't throw your faults at your face at every opportunity he gets. How you snore so bad. How you have a morning breath. Your hips are not wide enough. How your face is acne. Nobody wants to marry that kind of man. He will not only kill off what little confidence you have left in you, he will drive you to depression. Don't assume because he's acting nice now that he always acts nice. You need to really know him. You need to know what you're getting into. How does he treat his workers? How does he treat his dog? Watch him closely. You can't afford to make mistakes. Does he ever buy you gifts without you guys having a fight a day before? If he does, you're fine. If he doesn't, it means he may not really be generous, but he's only buying the gifts to make up for the fights. Number 4. Financial Security Does he have investments? A business and health insurance. It is not only foolish, but foolhardy to marry a man with no health insurance. What if he gets really sick? It could mean selling the house, all your jewelry and still not have enough money to pay the bills. Make it a part of your requirement if you don't want the stress that comes with caring for a sick, uninsured man. Ensure he has enough assets to cover the bills of running the home. Be open with him. Discuss your finances. If he is not open, note it. If he is not open before the marriage, he will not be open after the marriage. Check if he has any outstanding debt. If he does, ask him questions to understand. Businessmen borrow a lot, so it might just be business. But if not, ask him why. If he has a gambling problem, you have to know. You can't have a man who would gamble away your daughter's tuition as a husband. Number 5. He is committed to your career and personal development. How to know if he is the one is to find out whether he cared about your career and personal development. It takes two to tango. A rich man and a dumb wife are not going to make a great couple now, will they? Does he ask for your plans? Does he know your career path? Does he inquire and assist in your personal development? Ask yourself these questions and answer them truthfully. Number 6. Is he a one-woman, one-man kind of guy? Does he eye other women? A man who does this when you're not even yet married may cheat on you once you get married. If you're not okay with this, live on time or confront him. Problems should be confronted early in relationships, not after marriage. Old habits, after all, die hard. Do you see him chatting or calling other women often? Is he very secretive with his phone? Have you asked him if he has any other person he's interested in? Be open about your concerns. 
let him know that if he wants the other person, he can go for her. If he goes for her, you guys were never meant to be. Even if he doesn't, insist he declares what interest he has in the other person and what role it is to play in your relationship. Watch his mood when you're around him. Does he behave like he enjoys your company? If he truly does, he would not be moody. He would be happy and playful. Check when it started as well. Was it since before your relationship or some time afterwards? Ask him what the problem might be. Watch him closely. Is he avoiding eye contact? Number 7. Respects you and your family. Does he respect you and your family? Does he think visiting your father in Florida is beneath him that your father should fly to Chicago to meet him instead? A man who doesn't respect your father will hardly respect you. Your family are the people closest to you. If he doesn't respect them, then he doesn't respect you. He cannot claim to love you and disrespect you at the same time. A man who loves you will put up with your family for your sake. Still, I don't recommend making anyone put up with your family. It's marriage, not war. Talk about your families and try to eat dinner at both your parents from time to time. That way, you will both be familiar to each other's families. If he shows your family so much respect, the type he shows you, this is one of the signs he is the one. Number 8. Not controlling or condescending. When he doesn't want everything his way or look down on you because of your background, then this is a sign. A man who wants everything his way is always right. His word is law and is bound to verbally abuse you for disagreeing. This is why it is great to date for a while before considering marriage. So that you get to know each other a little better. Has he ordered you around before? Does he demand your time or does he ask nicely? You need to watch out. People rarely change. If you have seen a part of someone, the likelihood is high that that is how they really are. Number 9. Shares similar values or interests. Does he share similar values with you? What are his likes and dislikes? Are you guys really compatible? Determining this is one of the crucial steps in your decision-making process. If he doesn't share your interest, it will be quite boring marrying him, even if he's a nice guy. The truth is, there are an uncountable number of nice guys too in this world. What are his values? Does he engage in social vices or support secret societies? You need to find out discreetly. It is not wise to get involved without knowledge of a whole lot of things. Does he have a criminal record? His political affiliation may not be relevant, really.